sealing head valve seats to check to see if there's any leakage. We back test it, pulled back in through the valve to see if there's any seepage through the valve seats. The one valve on this engine, particular, this particular cylinder head, has burnt out so that there'd be no vacuum at all. Still haven't quite cleaned up yet. Yeah, I've, yeah. stopped it, I've stopped it on purpose so you can see the front. Yeah, yeah. So it hasn't cleaned up. It started to clean up. Yeah. But obviously that valve is quite, yeah. quite close to being burnt out. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's great. This machine now puts the valve seats in the cylinder head. Once again we have to determine the valve angle the same as on the valve facing machine. Once a pilot has been selected to suit the guide, it's then fitted the machine and the valve cutting tool is fitted as well. In this valve it's 45 degrees so it's already in. Once the seat has been cut, it is then ready to be lapped in. At the moment we've got the crank grinder, uh, we're just at the moment just grinding the big ends. It's all set up to do the big ends. Um, we do uh, one pair increments, which is on here. Uh, we'll grind it down to 0.25 so it comes to size, and then once it comes to size, we then go across then and do the other, other big end. And then once we've done that, then we'll return them back to the main and do the main bearings. We do the one side across to the, across to the other. Obviously, all very gently. As you can hear the, the stone just, track, just touching on the side of the corner of the cranker. Then put another, another cut on, which is a, a sound. The average crankshaft is normally right about this size and they normally take up to probably an hour and a half to two hours to run, depending on how badly run the big ends are or the mains, whether they're worn or whatever. Pressing a liner into a vintage single cylinder engine that we have preheated in the hot wash to the desired temperature. We then transferred it to the press, lined the liner up and gradually pressed it in to a designated stop. After that we will machine the top of the liner off and then bore it to size. We've just set up a case series cylinder head, aluminium, on the head facing machine to reface the head. The head has been buried so it's warped quite a lot, especially on the exhaust side, and the gasket is buried in when the fire rings. The cutter that we're using is a diamond tip cutter, a single point. We use WD-40 for a cutting fluid, which is the best thing to use for aluminium. It gives a good finish. After we've established the head is level and flat, we will carry on with the first cut just to see how bad the head is. We can continue with the cuts until the head, all the marks in the cylinder head have disappeared.